Hello everyone, I am Samiksha and the topic that we are going to discuss today is Venn Diagram. Now a beautiful chapter, a short and simple one on which the questions are very very easy. So let's not waste time and get started with it. So what is Venn Diagram? Now when I generally ask this question and ask that as to what is Venn Diagram, normally the students directly point out to the chapter that is related with set theory in maths. Not the Venn diagram questions that you get in the logical reasoning section of GAD, they have nothing to do with set theory. Okay, basically what do we do in Venn diagram? It's kind of like set theory, but the answer way or the way of you solving the question is not using any formula or stuff. It's basically a diagrammatic question that we'll have to decode. Okay, so Venn diagram is basically either they will give you certain elements or you know certain components and you will have to represent those components in terms of a diagram. So that is basically Venn diagram and generally the diagrams that are used are or the shape that is used is a circle but there is no exception that it's only going to be circle there could be triangles, rectangles, squares depending upon the type of question you are coming across. Okay. In the Venn diagram now how many types of questions can you expect? You can only expect two types of questions. Okay, the first type would be basically they'll give you certain elements and they'll give you four options where diagrams would be made. You'll have to select which of the option is the correct interpretation of the elements. And the second one would be kind of like, you know, a diagram already made with certain elements, with certain components and some sub questions below it. So those are the two types of questions we'll be discussing in this chapter. Okay, so let's start. This is now what you see on the screen is the first variety of question that is identification of relation based on the Venn diagram. Now one important thing before we actually dig in into the question is when you read such question do not draw your own diagram. Okay, it could be for the certain set of elements that they have given multiple diagrams are possible but are they asking you to draw the diagram no they are asking you to select the diagram among the diagrams that are given okay so select it from the options that are available all right so now let's get started what is the question saying which of the following diagrams show the relationship between husband wife and family okay now between husband wife and family so what are the steps you follow generally i suggest among the elements that are given, you try to figure out who would be the larger element or who can be the main element and the others either would be sub elements of that main elements or entirely different component. Okay, so just check or look at the question in that way. So if I look with husband and wife, obviously husband and wife, it's a couple. Okay, they are related with one another, but can they be into one another? Can a husband be a wife or a wife be a husband? No. So though they are related with another, they are not connected. And if you see in the options, it's based on circles. So will I have overlapping circles for husband and wife? Impossible. Will I have intersecting circle, circles for husband and wife? No. Now, when it comes to family, a family does include a husband and a wife. It does have a couple. It has children. So family is our main element in our question. And what are husband and wife? They are part of a family again will husband and wife be only the part of family no there would be certain other components which can also be part of it so keep that in mind these circles though husband and wife are circles inside the family will only husband and wife contribute to the family no so all these explanations or all these points are they clear now based on that let's look at the question so first option a is this possible? No, this is defined with the first point itself that I made that husband cannot be wife and wife cannot be husband. So option A, not possible. I go to option B. Now what I see, family, I have husband and wife. Now can there be a husband or a wife without a family? Like you know, if I say this is husband and if I say this is wife, so and if this is family, this part of husband and this part of wife would become the family but what about the remaining section? It's nowhere, right? And that's impossible. So option B also cannot be my answer. Option C is impossible because automatically I know husband and wife are part of the family. So the only diagram that fits is option D. So in option D, family would be the larger circle and this circle would represent husband and the other one would represent wife. Idea clear, everybody? So another important point that I forgot to tell you in the start is Obviously, we look for the most appropriate option, though the approach that we use is 
we find the major element among the components given and we go with option elimination remember do not draw your own venn diagram but try to get it from the options that are available idea clear okay so let's move on now this is the second type of question that you'll have to focus on venn diagram that is analysis based venn diagram they have already given you a venn diagram there are certain components to it and based on that you'll have to answer a couple of questions this comes up in exam you're very lucky why because it's gonna have two three questions below it so instead of you know solving that question and getting one mark you probably will get two three marks depending upon whether your answer is correct so just be careful because i've seen when the question of venn diagram comes in the students are very happy they're flying up in the air why because they feel oh this is very easy all i have to do is pick elements from the figure and in that moment of happiness you make a mistake so do not do that even if the question is easy treat it equally important as a difficult question okay so let's see so study the following diagram they say and answer the question there are certain you know circle triangle rectangle representing something let's see what it is so the first question says find out the number that lies inside all the figures so we'll have to pick a number that fits in all the figures so it's the intersection of triangle circle and rectangle so triangle circle and rectangle can we see it's the number 2 right it's a number which is intersecting or it is present in all the three elements so your answer would be option a then the second one which of the following represents the number that lies inside any two figures now any two figures there are multiple numbers that are possible like say this number 8 is possible number 5 is possible number 1 is possible isn't it so here what we will do we'll go with options and check which option is possible so the first option they have given is 2 and 4 now is 2 possible impossible why because we have just seen 2 is the number which lies in all the three so option a is not possible then coming to option b it says 5 and 1 Now, if I look at five, yes, it's inside triangle and circle. And if you look for one, it's inside rectangle and triangle. So obviously, option B is correct. And since this is a MCQ, there's only one correct option. Option. So is there a need of checking the other option? Not needed. You can just go with option B. Okay. Next, find out the number that lies only inside the triangle. So see, it's a only inside the triangle. So the number that's only inside the triangle, I can obviously say it's option. d that is 9 idea clear it's very simple so we have completed with the two types of question now what is the job let's practice out a few question so what you will do for the next question that you see on the screen freeze this video for a second first you solve the questions and then check the solution in the video okay chalo so the question says food curd and spoon now what is the major element in this food and curd is a type of food do spoon is used to eat types of food does every type of food we eat with a spoon no okay so keep that in mind in checking with the option so is a option possible impossible curd has to lie inside what it has to lie inside food so a option not possible for b option if food is a major element will spoon lie inside food is it a type of food no impossible c option again not possible why because spoons all spoons cannot be food or all uh foods are just not curd so it's not getting in so the only option that is possible is option d over here what would be the element the outer circle would be food the inner one as curd and the small circle outside that would be the value for spoon idea clear okay now next one sportsman cricket and batsman so obviously batsman is possible only if that person is a cricketer and cricketers are what they are sportsmen so but obviously there are other sports also possible isn't it so what we can do we can select option c as our answer how outermost circle as sportsman the inner one as cricketer and the innermost as batsman then there are certain element of sportsmen left where we can you know sandwich in the other kinds of sports that are possible obviously the other options are not possible idea clear okay so this was our first time now let's move to the second time again i would suggest same pause the video for a second and check if you are getting the answer right so they say find the boys who are athletes disciplined are indicated by which number so which are athletes this rectangle represents athletes right now athletes who are boys so the square is boys so combination of or common of rectangle and square 
that is this number 2 and this number 1 but i want those boys who are athletes to be disciplined as well so disciplined is lying inside the circle so combination of rectangle square and circle so combination of all three so which is the number that it falls in that it's the number 2 so your answer would be option b idea clear so this is all with the chapter of venn diagram it's a short and sweet chapter all you have to do is just to be careful while you solve question. Okay. Don't just see that this is easy. So I can just quickly wind this up. No. Be careful while solving them. Alright guys. That's it with the topic. Thank you.